everybody welcome back if you're new here hi mercury welcome to my channel so it's been a hot minute since i was in rockefeller center so i'm here they change out the art that they have on display in rotation so i figured i would come and see what new art they have on display here in rockefeller center so let's go and the very first thing i found was this dapper teddy bear driving this truck hello little teddy bear he may have been there forever and I never noticed him before, but that's part of what I love about this city is I'm always finding new stuff. And it's a dapper teddy bear. I mean, you can't not love that. Oh yes, there is new art indeed. Let's go see what this is. So it says this is by Li Bei and it's called Origin Mergent's Return. So I apologize if it's loud, it's just, you know, Fifth Avenue, there's traffic. But this sculpture is, it's, ma it's made of charcoal. It's stacked charcoal. And it is done by a Korean artist and it is the first piece of art by a Korean artist to occupy this spot. And that's pretty cool that this is like the centerpiece spot. This is where like the, the showcase pieces go. And this is the first time that it's been done by a Korean artist. And you could see just how massive the sculpture is here. You could see it's three bundles of charcoal and it's like, like logs. It, it looks like burnt logs. You know, you think of charcoal, you think of like the little briquettes that you have at a barbecue, but that is not this. This is like, like a forest like burned and this is the remnants. This is like the aftermath of that. Very, very impressive. So let's go check out if we can find any more art in Rockefeller Center. Also, it's June when I'm filming this, so happy Pride Month, everybody. We got all the Pride flags all around the skate rink. Happy Pride, everyone. In the winter, we have an ice rink down here, but now that it's warmed up, the ice is melted and the skates come out. We got a roller rink this time of year. So I'm walking around and it's essentially like a mall inside. There's a bunch of shops, but I did find this. So Art and Focus 2023. It's an installation by Basil Kincaid. And this one says we hold the seeds of galaxies in our hands. And this like made me stop in place like that. That's awesome. Yeah, we are all just stardust and it's, you know, amazing what we come from nothing and go to everything and we're all connected and seeds of galaxies. Kind of makes your brain wheels spin. I like thought provoking art. So this particular piece is done based in fiber art. So sewing, quilting, you know, things like that. And this one also has embroidered words on it. It says the source and then this is kind of cut off over here and then remain interesting but like if we look close you could tell this this was embroidery this this, this is a photograph but it's a photograph of embroidery work so i'm gonna go check out the lower level see if there's anything more down here to discover because on that level I was just on, that's where like NBC is and the Rainbow Room and the tours and all that, but we're going down a little more. So you might remember a little while back I went to Top of the Rock for an evening observation deck viewing and this is where it is. This is right here, this is where I came out. But that's not what I'm here for today. The search for art continues. I think I found the narrowest escalator I've been on it a long time. This is so narrow. This is itty bitty. That was this a thing. So I came outside and I popped out, I think I'm by the Nintendo store. Yes, I am by the Nintendo stores where I exited. And guess what I just found? Art, I found art. Let me show you. So this display is called Art Sunday. Not like the day, but like the treat. And this was a collaboration between a child's public art making workshop and an artist named Gayton. So this is Joel Gayton's work combined with a children's art workshop. And 
and look, there's like pottery. Like, it looks like the kids were making pottery. Look at this. These are fantastic. I know there's a lot of glare, let me see. Ah, there we go. Look how fantastic this is. Look at these. I like that one with like the twisty, the twisty top there. That's great. Oh, and there's a Smurf. And then this one has a twisty handle. Oh, there, there's a creepy looking figure there. I wonder what, what the person was thinking that made that. Hmm. Oh, and this one, look, look, there's a kitty cat in a bowl. Look at the kitty cat in the bowl. That's great. And then there's more on this drying rack here, it looks like, along with a bunch of produce. We got some mangoes and citrus fruits. This is wonderful. So what I learned reading the sign about the display is that the, the artist, Joel Gayton, he invited the participants to use his favorite medium, which is clay, and create vessels. And it says that storytelling is the poetry of life. Storytelling is the poetry of life. That's, that's really powerful. That's a really wonderful sentiment. And it really is. Like, to tell a story is to share your soul. And there's so many ways of doing it. There's so many ways. You can be verbal in telling your story, but you could also be visual in telling your story. Or if you're a musician, you could be auditory in telling your story. However you want to express yourself, you can do it. Whatever's meaningful to you. I have friends that use dance as their form of telling their story. If you have a way of getting that creativity out, it's a great, great way to express yourself. Art is a wonderful medium, regardless of what type of art it is. So that might be all the art I'm gonna find in Rockefeller Center today, but as I continue to walk around New York, I'll see if I find any more art along the way that I can show you. So I am home. I tried to find more art on the way. I, I struck out. It was, it was not a successful random stroll for art. Um, but we saw some really cool art in Rockefeller Center. We saw the giant charcoal sculpture. That was pretty intense. It was so big and overwhelming and had this sort of charred logs. So it had this sort of like polar opposite effect because there's like so much life and vibrancy and energy in Rockefeller Center. But then you have these charcoal logs that have like, seen their last day and it, it really feels like the opposite of what Rockefeller Center energy is. So it was very, very thought provoking in that way. Then we went inside and we found some art inside. And as we were leaving, we found the, the pottery that was in part done by a sculptor in collaboration with children, which is awesome. But I, I really want to say I love and appreciate art. It comes in all forms. It can be seen and done by anybody. Art is an amazing way of communicating. And it's, it's in my, my soul, it's in my veins, it's in my, my makeup of who I am. And you know, it, it would be a very boring world if there were no art. So with that, I want to leave everybody with a very, very simple message. Art is. And that's it. So stay inspired by everyone and I'll see you real soon. Take care.